Hey there, YouTube. Meets of Evil 93 here, bringing you another episode of Ready Arms. Uh, I honestly came on just to play some ranked off camera because I haven't played ranked in a while since the last episode was recorded, actually. And I am greeted with a party crash. And we are going to go start the party crash. We're going to play as Lola because Lola is cute as heck. And. We're going to start right now. I've already adjusted our arms so that we have our bonus arm. I don't know if you guys noticed the slap amander there. But I will see you guys in the first round. All right. So we got a 1v1v1, three Lolas. That lobby total is very nice. Lola pops about 11,000 more than Masango right now. Let's go, honk, honk. Let's see. So we're going to go slap amander. And you know what? Let's go Biffler. I know it's lightweight, but I haven't given it a shot. Alright, so I'm guessing we should target this other Lollipop here. Alright, um, we're not really doing much here to be honest. They're kind of having their own little 1v1, like we haven't landed a single hit. Yo, come on. There we go. We got our hit in. Alright, I guess I'm just going to use this to get used to Lollipop's passive. She can jump out of her dashes. Excuse me, her guards. I've seen people throw their... Throw their uh, We are doing, like, disgustingly here. <laughs> like, we, ha we haven't been hit. We might get a perfect round just because they're not paying attention to us. There we go. There's one down. Okay, wow. I was actually going to use mine, and I am a little bit, a little bit glad. Very glad that she used hers. Yo, I would love... Did we win? We won! Even though we got our butts handed to us in like the last 20 seconds here. But that's fine. You know, our first match went well. Yo, Lola's so cute. Our first match went well. We got used to the mechanics. And now, we can turn it up. So I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, so we're up against Iron. Another Lola Pop, of course. We got like... Actually, do we have all Lola Pops? I didn't really look. Sorry, I was warming up in between... Uh, the last one, but I don't know. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. So we're gonna go Nade Slapamander, because the Slapamander is a little bit slower, I've noticed, at least in the Biffler. So I want to I want to at least uh try and Ooh, that was interesting. Looks like she can jump. She jumps pretty high out of uh her Oh no. How did that not hit? Alright, so she, she plays around with her guards a lot. Excuse me? Why did you cancel your guard for a rush attack? I mean, it worked out well, but I was just a little bit confused about it. There we go. We got a hit. Alright, yeah, this has taken me a little bit of time to get used to. I'm a little bit disappointed that she was able to block a lot of that, because I think she pushed us out of, uh, of the range. Boom, boom. Alright, so we're, do we're doing... Okay, we're learning a lot from her, actually. Um, we're using the strategies that she has been using against us. And it's fairly...
fairly valuable for the most part. Um, I'm definitely not as great at using Lola's passives as I was with Master Mummies in the previous party crash. But you know what? I'm fine with it. It is all part of a learning curve, and I think it's going to improve my play down the line because I'll be able to play, you know, against other types of characters because I have played as other types of characters. All right, so we are up versus Headlock. So this is this is going to be a nice... I don't want to say easy victory. Level 7 is not going to be an easy victory. <laughs> um, let's see, we definitely don't want to go anything light. We want to use the Slap Amander. You know, it's our highest damage arm, so I guess we'll go double Slap Amander here. Yo, no, 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 no. Grab him, somebody. Thank you. Alright, that's right. I just remembered my, uh, our, our tactic against a level 7 headlock is somebody distracts him, and then somebody will grab him every now and then. Yo, excuse me. I under are you kidding me? I understand we are grabbing him a lot. And all right, we got we got a fair amount of juggling in there. Ouch. Ouch. You know, I've made that noise in real life before and people just haven't either just respond or dead. Either responded to the reference or just understanded the reference. Um, but we're going to go to the lobby if we can. No. All right, that's fine. We're going to watch the end of this. Put my controller down. It is the Alaskan Bullworm when it falls on Bikini Bottom in the end of Sp that Spongebob episode. It's an Alaskan Bullworm. Yo, get some grabs in, guys. It's very difficult to beat Headlock level 7 uh, with two people. Get some grabs in. He has low HP. There you go. There's one. Will another grab do it? Maybe. I don't know. But I don't think they're going to do it at this point. Oh. Oh. No. The time. The tie. Oh, oh my god, so close. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. We'll get him next time. Alright, so we're in a 2v2. We've got Arin back on our side this time, and we're against Kian and a Misango, whose name I did not see. Uh, what does Misango have? Samuel. Alright, so there's two roasters, slap Um... You know what, we're going to go Nade Slapamander only because the explosion, if it's blocked by, uh, by someone else. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go, perfect. There we go, alright. Teamwork does in fact make the dream work. Yo, excuse me. One, two, three, and you are out of here. I am grabbing a lot more today than I normally do, and it is working out, so I am very okay with it. Yo, how did that slap Amander not hit her? Live. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lola. There we go. We got some damage off. Yo, she is literally facing the entirely wrong way. Don't let me die. Thank you. Thank you, Arin. I forgive you for beating me. Yo, Lola's victory animation is so adorable. Like, honestly, Min Min is a boss, but Lola Pop is, like, the cutest thing in the world. All right, so we're doing hoops. We're doing hoops against Samuel. Um, I'm sorry, why do I have Chilla and Bub? Oh, Arms Lab Selects. That is why. Okay. 
I'm gonna try and use our passive to our advantage here. Yo, why are you punching? This is hoops, my son. Maybe he's just trying to get his special up. Which honestly, not a bad uh not a bad idea. You should have kept me in uh There we go. Honestly, like, they took... 2017 was the year of the clowns in that Lola... Oh, no. Lola Pop and the new It movie made their debut. Uh, I would love to get my special up. And... Six to two. All right. In that Lola Pop and It debuted. So we got one scary clown and one adorable clown. I apologize if you're tired of hearing that already. You're going to hear that a lot during this party crash. All right. So we're up in a fight against Kian. And I meant to change... It's arm select, so it's fine. It's whatever. I meant to change our Slapamander to a roaster. But it looks like we got a roaster anyway. So I think we're going to go roaster whammer. Even though I... I'm not entirely sure if this is the best stage for the Whammer, because it's very close quarters. But we seem to be doing okay. It's mostly because this Lollipop is taking a pretty newbie tactic and jumping a lot. So, it looks like this will be... A relatively easy win if she does not change up her style. Come on, come on. No, I meant to hop out of the way here. There we go. Boom! That was honestly, I think, the most... I don't know about skillful, but the most convenient juggle that I have ever gotten in a rush attack. Because that juggle, it helped us. There, it not helped us. It made us win that match. So that's pretty great. And also because this uh, arms, excuse me, bonus period gives an absurd amount of points. We are already level six. All right, so we had to wait like no time at all to get into skill shot here. So I think we're going to take one select and if we take a if we have a heavy arm which we do not. Hmm. We're definitely not taking the Scorpio. You know what? We're going to take uh Slapamander Chakram just cuz the Chakram has a slightly faster moves movement speed. All right, it looks like this <laughs> the other Lola Pop and I are just trying to hit each other. There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right. I don't know. I don't know how we're doing in uh in this round though. We seem to be not doing fantastically. But, alright, well actually it seems pretty close. It's not even, we're not doing fantastically, it's just that we're very close. And that, that one let us inch ahead a little bit, but these last couple rounds of arms are where the points lie. And it looks like we got it. Alright, fantastic. That was pretty great. You, you know, you guys know that I'm not great at uh at skill shot, and that was that was pretty good. Although I will thank Kian, Chian, how however you pronounce it. I'm sorry, I don't really not really great at pronouncing any names. Giggles. All right, so we are in a two v two, I think. Yes, we've got another Lola Pop. Yo, this Misango Samuel. I am sorry, my friend. But, it is not going to work out for you. We're going to go Roaster Nade. And honestly, against this Ninjara, who is a Ninjara, I just realized. Ooh, I meant to guard and... 
Yeah. Alright, so we, we hit the Misango. Apparently Ninjara is going for our, uh, our ally here. There we go. He's, he got in my face, and I didn't appreciate it. Alright, Lola got him. No, 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 no. Yo, this is like a game of a game of grabs, not even a game of thrones. Yo, can you please focus on one opponent? Ugh, that's fine though. Can we exit to the lobby from here? Oh, didn't even didn't even matter. That's fine though. Uh, even though we failed our streak challenge, it's all right. I why are, yo hungry wig? Why are you playing Ninjara? In a party crash. Do you just like dislike Lola Pop and Masango that much that you're gonna be like, you know what? Mm -mm. It's it's Ninjara time. So I don't know whether or not to complain about the fact that we are getting absurdly consecutive matches in this party crash. Um I mean I guess it's a good thing, but we're gonna go roaster Biffler because the Biffler has a higher hitbox, which I think will help with the hitbox abuse that uh, accompanies this stage. There we go. All right, that's good. We knocked her off. She knocked us off again. See, it's see here the Biffler is working to our disadvantage because it is a light arm. There we go. Yo, this is not working here. Oh, uh, you know what? No more Biffler. It's decided I'm going to change it. I do not like light arms. I used to have, as you guys know, I used to have a big thing for the Scully. It used to be like one of my top, I'd say five arms, period. Because, you know, it's, it's hard to choose. You know, you get attached to your arms, but I just don't like light arms anymore. All right, so we are up against our friend Kian, Gian, Kian, Kianu Reeves. I changed out the Biffler for the Whammer, and we're gonna see how this goes for us. The Blorb is the other, uh, the other bonus arm right now, so we'll see how uh, how it works for the other our other Lola. Ooh, I meant to I meant to go to the side, not to the front. I am a little cold, maybe that, maybe that's why. Like my hands physically. Um cuz I know like professional uh esports players. Professional esports players. Um they carry uh what's it called? They carry hand warmers. Because like the the whole fight or flight response kicks in apparently in, in high level play, uh, I have never experienced it myself. At least I haven't realized in the moment that I have experienced it. Yo, I meant to. Oh, Hong Kong. I think we're just gonna throw some punches. To try and come on girl to try and get our rush attack up and then as soon as she sends out the blorb or just you know right now which she predicted so it's okay ah, I was gonna try and use that grab tactic that's all right though it happens we had we had a good theory on how to win our, our execution just wasn't there so we're gonna try for it next time Hopefully it'll work. All right, so we're against Headlock, apparently. I was responding to a text from my girlfriend for about five seconds, and we're already in a match. Honestly, getting a little inconvenient. Um, we are definitely going to go Whammer, because that will knock down... Actually, I don't know if it'll knock down the Guardians, but it'll knock down the homies I think he's using. All right, yeah. So these won't knock down the Guardians...
So it, it won't knock down the guardians, but it'll knock down the homies. Which, me and the homies. It's already, it's all, it's all good. Me and the homies. Um, sorry, just quoting like single lines from uh, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. I did not even mean for that to be a grab. I meant for that to be a quick, uh, quick left, left, right. Or not left, left, right. Obviously, you can't do that in this game. But left, right. And, uh, you know, it. whatever happened, happened there, apparently. All right, we got some... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man, I got to record that. Sorry. I think I'm going to make a Party Crash montage soon. Because I have some pretty good... Uh, clips from the last couple party crashes that I would really like to show off <laughs> because I am a show off. Oh man, I was hoping to get that last hit. But let me know if you'd like to see that because I feel like I'm just going <laughs> to upload it anyway, to be honest. So look out for it, I guess. I don't know when it'll come up. Um, depending on how many good bits I get in this party crash, maybe soon. Or maybe it'll have to wait till the next party crash. It's a mystery. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice we were in a match. Uh, we're against Shades, who we have not played against. Uh, I think she brought the Slap Amander. I can't obviously see what she has. So we're going to go Roaster. We're going to see if Roaster Whammer will work for us. Um, honestly, I kind of hope it does. Because I like the whammer as as a, as an arm, but it is just a teensy bit too slow for me. Like I I understand obviously that like the megaton and the megawatt are slow, and I enjoyed those. Um, but the the whammer has like that extra little wind up before it hits, and I think that just makes it that much slower. I meant to hold that guard. But. Oh, I should have dashed and I jumped and had I dashed, we would have avoided that bit of pain. You know what? I think I'm going to change out the whammer because it's just a little bit too slow. So... I think I'll change it out for the Megawatt, if I have it for Lola, I honestly don't know. Or the Megaton, depending, of course, on what I have. Alright, so we are going to go with Bill E versus Headlock. This bonus period is too many Headlocks. Yo, why are you putting two of us against a level 7 Headlock? How in the world is that fair? We're going to go Roaster Megawatt. Um, as you guys can see, I switched out the Nade for the Coolerang. Um, because of the wonderful things he does. Um, goodness gracious. I switched out the nade for the coolerang because we needed a, uh, curving arm. Ow. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my tactic here. See if it works! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, that... That was... Oh, that was painful. Why would you put two people up against a level 7 headlock? What kind of sadistic programmers do that to a person? Huh. But, we got 45 points, so that's okay. I think the end of... No, you know what? The next match will be our last match for this episode. I will try and have two Party Crash episodes up. So, we will we will see. Alright, so we are back with Bill E and Zeno against Headlock, and we will see if we can not get our bottoms handed to us. So, what's the boing 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 again? I don't know. I think I think that's just the uh That was not the greatest juggling of all time. I really wish that um 
le the higher level headlocks were at least like mildly affected by uh ooh, nope jumping is not the right tactic against against uh whammers because they do have that little that little bit of extra goodness hmm I like the way Lola pop plays I just don't think I can do well with her if that makes any sense whatsoever uh Lola you did it too slow Lola. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, Lola did it too slow. La. So. Alright. That is the episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I had fun playing as Lola Pop. Hopefully next time we will just be, be a little bit better. But if you did enjoy the episode, please click the like button. If you saw something you really liked, saw something you really didn't like, or thought of something that you'd like to see in the next episode, please leave a comment. It helps out even more than you guys think it does. Um, then again, I don't know if you think it helps at all. But, yeah. And if you're not subscribed yet, the button's right there. It's not going anywhere. So you might as well click it. Please don't lick it. That's gross and unhygienic and a million other things. But for right now, I gotta go. Peace out, Cub Scouts.